ZANU PF is reportedly fretting over a meeting involving exiled former party commissar Xavier Kasukiwir, vocal former Chivy West MP Killer Zifu, and Norton MP Tembam Liswa, independent, in South Africa last week. Kasukiwir, an ex-minister in the late former President Robert Mugabe's government, is in exile in South Africa, along with other G40 members, who had coalesced around the former First Family. The meeting set tongues wagging as Kasukiwir is reportedly itching for a comeback to reclaim the party. The former local government minister is reportedly being pushed by some people within ZANU-PF to kickstart the process of reclaiming the party. He is also accused of being behind the legal challenge by a ZANU-PF youth, Saibath Musinjezi, who has taken the party to court over processes that led to Nangagwa's rise to power. Pictures of Kasukiwir, Zivu, and Mliswa have added to speculation in ZANU-PF over a plot to reclaim the party which they say has been taken over by ideologically bankrupt individuals. Kasukiwir curtly dismissed the allegations. Those are childish ramblings and conspiracy theories, he told Newsday yesterday. He, however, took to Twitter saying, met two maverick Zimbabwean politicians. Interesting catching up with two comrades who have gone through a lot and are tactical politicians. Wish them well in their political journey. Observers reacted to the pictures, saying that a plot was underway. Liswa said there was nothing sinister about the meeting. People are coming up with all sorts of conspiracies just because we were together. I was expelled from ZANU PF by a faction involving Kasukiwir, and if anything, I should not be with him, but there is more to life than politics. We were not plotting anything, and I will continue meeting whoever I need to. Soon I will post pictures with Shamisa too. He is my Sakuru, uncle, just like Kasukiwir or Jonathan Moyo, former higher education minister. The intricate web of totems links us. Now, should I shun that because of politics? No. Dot Mliswa and Zivu are strong critics of the establishment over corruption, among other issues, although they both insist that they support Nangagwa. As for ZANU-PF, as a party, it's clear that it has lost itself, and in its current state, it is a rogue entity which is going against the principles of the liberation struggle. It has been hijacked by a lot of Mafikazolos who have no DNA of the party Mliswa added. The ZANU PF I belong to stuck to the founding principles of the struggle. Thus on the basis of those principles I have never been out of ZANU PF. The current power holders in the party have kicked out people with the real DNA of ZANU PF, he said.